Hello everyone, today we're going to install the Fruto Technology 49 LED barrel replacement and at this stage of the installation process you've obviously already opened up your wand so we don't need to go into how to do that and you can ignore the how my wand looks here, I kind of took things apart. The only wire that you need to worry about for the rest of this installation is this one here. So we're going to have to disconnect this one, this is the stock barrel LED. And as always, be very careful. These wires are delicate and these things are a pain in the butt to take off. Sometimes I like to use tweezers just to lift up the tabs a little bit. And then just kind of, yeah, do that. <laughs> Get underneath the tab and pull it out. Make sure you pull off the connectors, not pull by the wires because these will break. Next, you're gonna wanna move towards the front of your barrel to remove this emitter tip. As you see, um, mine is a custom acrylic tube that I replaced already. But yours is probably gonna look some... Oh, dear, I'm recording a video. But yours is probably gonna look something like this. And um, there's nothing to it. You really just have to rip it off. If you're lucky, yours isn't glued on too tight and comes off easily. Or if you're unlucky and the glue is really strong, then the tip is gonna come off with it. Lift off the spring. It reveals a screw underneath. And take your screwdriver, unscrew that. And then lift this up. And then now you can take the barrel out. Okay, now here's where the fun begins. Looking at it this way, or this way, both, there's gonna be a little pin that goes right through. I've already broken the plastic here to reveal it, but with, on yours, it'll probably be all white across and you, it'll be hard to find. But if you look closely, you should be able to see the shade of the screw underneath. And there's really nothing to it. You can just, I, I think I just took um, this flathead screwdriver, this small one, and I just kept digging at it and digging at it until I broke through. Now, once you've cleared enough room to for the pin to come out, you know, I'm just going to use the same small flathead screwdriver and I'm just going to try to poke it out and then take your pliers and pull it out. Now, assuming I put this back together the same way with the spring, uh, I guess facing down in this video, you'll see that um, the top part on one side is knurled and that is the part I have. And it'll be easier to push this out through the non oops, knurled side. So. As you can see, knurled, not knurled, went in like this. And once that's off, you can just slide the cover off to reveal the inside. Ooh. And so inside here, you should have a foam piece and a clear piece. Mine is stuck. So this, this, this clear piece inside here also comes out, but mine is uh, it's glued down in there. I don't know what happened. Maybe when I installed this uh, replacement acrylic tube, some of the super glue got onto it. I don't know, but it's stuck in there, so I can't get it out. But you probably should be able to. So the next step is to remove the old LED. It is just kind of glued down here with sitting under these three tabs. I've already broken mine off, but yours might be glued on a lot tighter. Basically, you just gotta take it off. Now this is optional. If you want, you can just snap off these three tabs. I think they just get in the way, but I've seen Dustin and other people um, leave it on and they seem to be just fine with it, but pliers don't work. I'm going to use some snippers. That just went flying into the room somewhere. I don't know where it went. So the Fruto LED is obviously much shorter than the stock barrel LED. So we're going to just kind of visualize it. It's going to be something like this. The wire will go through. The foam touches the top there. So next, let's go ahead and connect the LED to the wire. And then take the other end of the wire and take your foam piece. And just try to shimmy it all the way through. Using this little stick is helping. Almost there. There we go. 
and then just try to line it up. And obviously because this LED is shorter and has all these ridges and this little housing here, it's just not gonna fit into the foam as smoothly as the stock LED. Oh, well that came off. But just do your best, push it through. And yeah, that's good enough right there, just like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to find where the end of it at stops and you're gonna cut off the excess foam, snip. Finally, take your glue gun and I already did this off camera because I realized I forgot I was recording. And we're just gonna add some hot glue to the end to hold the LED and the foam together so it doesn't move. Because once we um, put this back in, if you're still using that white piece inside, there's a lot of friction. And you're gonna try to slide it in and you're gonna find that the LED will shift down or if you're going this way, it'll shift up or whatever. So that's why we put some hot glue to kind of hold it together. So let's do a test. Um, why don't we come in from this way and see if this works. Yeah, the hot glue is doing a decent job. The LED is not sliding out of the foam. Okay, and oh, before you pull all the way down, you're gonna wanna know where you stop. So you have, for me, I have a custom one. Um, so I'm probably gonna have this around there. My tip is probably gonna be about there. And so I can probably push this up a little bit more, but I'm just gonna leave that as is. That's probably fine. And then you want to take your sled here and we're going to line up the wires. Let's see, where does this go? Now I'm just going to do a little gentle pull here to make sure that these wires, um, there's no slack inside the barrel. And make sure it's like tight because as you know, the, the when you um, extract your barrel, it comes out quite violently and this thing can shift up every time it shoots out. So make sure that's tight, put it through the slit just like before and now you're gonna take your pin and what i say uh the neural side is it was like this yeah you're gonna want to make sure the wire is out of the way as you're putting this back in oh yeah one final thing i forgot line up before you uh, put everything back together make sure that the led is lined up however you like it ideally i think you want it vertical perpendicular like this so you want it like that, like this, if the wand is facing up. So as you stick this back in, make sure that you push the wires aside so it doesn't pinch on it. All I'm doing is using some tweezers to push it aside. Okay. Taking the butt, taking the butt end of my screwdriver, I'm just gonna push it through until it's nice and flush and yep, that's good. The wires seem to be not pinching, they're free. Now we're just gonna hot glue this. So I'm just gonna pull back a little bit, make sure it's tight. And let's just start from up here first. Let that dry. Okay, that feels good. Move on to the next section. And again, just be patient when it's drying. Don't do anything else. Just take the time to think about your life. Think about your existence. Why did God put me here? Why did Hasbro had to release that proton pack? So put as much, so put as much hot glue as you want along here, it's up to you. For the final step, and as I'm making this video, I don't think I've tried this yet. I don't remember, if I saw some post this in our Facebook group, but I'm gonna try routing the wire down to the along the bottom here and have it come out this way. When it goes in here, it pinches between this and this here. So I'm gonna try to route it down this way and put a bit of hot glue right there. Okay, and when you're done, as suggested by Dustin, take your hot glue, take the tip of the hot glue gun and just 
go along and try to like push out any high spots so that this can move freely inside. So just kind of smooth everything out. If you're wondering, super glue does work as well. Just one thing to be careful about when you super glue the wires on, it does make the wires stiffen. So if you need to like remove it off, chance it might break or I don't know. I did to my other one, it seemed to be fine, but hot glue is a safer bet to go. Anyways, once you've smoothed out the glue as much as you can, do a test, stick it back into the barrel and see if there's any uh, catches, see if it moves smoothly or not. Uh, it kind of catches right about here. So if it catches, that probably means some of the glue is still sticking out. So just go back and do what you can. And if you're wondering, super glue does work. It would be a lot easier. You don't have to try to clean up all the hot glue to make this not stick out as much. But the super glue does kind of make the wires stiff on the outside. So that's just something you need to consider. Uh, once you think you smooth it out as best as you can, Go ahead and stick it in and test it out. See if it moves smoothly back and forth or not. So mine catches a little bit right there, but I'm not too worried. Um, Cause you know, the, the spring here is pretty strong. So I, I'm pretty sure this will still shoot out and extend fully uh, even if it catches a little bit. So I think I'm good with that. So if you're satisfied, go ahead, sticking it back in and insert that. Reinstall the screw. Reattach the spring. Close your window when you're recording a video. I like to put a piece of tape over the screw underneath just so the spring doesn't rub up against it and makes a noise. Now I'll test out the barrel, make sure it extends fully. Yeah, that looks good. Even with that little hitch I felt earlier, it still pops out nice and smooth, so that's good. And as suggested by Dustin, do not use heat shrink on this. Um, it will make it a lot stiffer than it needs to be. What you can do instead is take some tiny zip ties and put maybe a couple of these on here. And then what you can do is make this like a pigtail and kind of make it like a spring, but and curl it like this. And then go ahead and plug into your board and then test it out. And before you go, due to the power requirements of the 49 LED barrel, it is recommended to power the wand directly from the GP Start amplifier instead of the GP Start board. So disconnect the red and black wire that's going from your wand to the pack board and connect it to one of the five power output boards labeled plus minus or five volt on the amplifier. Any one of them will do. This should improve the power distribution of your entire kit. And that's everything. Thanks for watching.